When performing stem cell therapy, one of the first acts that we do is to go ahead and take central venous blood. This is because we want to have platelet-rich plasma. We obtain the platelet-rich plasma and I use a Cytomedics device. After the blood is taken, it is given to the staff and the PRP is created. The next portion of the procedure is when we begin liposuction. I use Dr. Jeffrey Klein's Tumescent Solution. The solution is mixed in a 500cc normal saline bag and I use this for my anesthesia that is injected into the abdomen or love handle area. After waiting approximately 30 minutes, we've achieved adequate anesthesia. I then introduce my cannula that will collect the lipoaspirate. The lipoaspirate is collected in a 50cc syringe. After collecting the first 50cc's, I will go to the other side of the patient and collect another 50cc's of the lipoaspirate. Lipoaspirate is then given to my staff who will then process it through the device that will create adult mesenchymal stem cells. Once the liposuction is complete and we have our specimen, it then goes through the centrifugation process and a shaking process whereby the stem cells are concentrated. After removal of the syringe, what we will do is we'll go ahead and remove the tumescence and drain it, and then we will add collagenase in a one-to-one -one ratio. The specimen is then put back into the centrifuge with a shaking plate. The process of shaking takes about 30 minutes the shaking will allow the fat and the stem cells to separate. So at the very end, what we're injecting inside the patient is purified adult mesenchymal stem cells. The process involves four actual spins to create your purified stem cells. The first spin is at five minutes, the second one is at 30 minutes, and then the subsequent uh, third spin is at five minutes, and then the last one is for approximately three minutes. So after the final specimen is obtained, then we want to know the exact cell count from what we aspirated earlier in the procedure. A pipette is then taken and a portion of the specimen is put onto the device that gives us an exact number of stem cells. We use an Oroflow culture counter which gives us a specific number. The recommended number of stem cells that we want to inject per procedure is a minimum of 10 million stem cells. In this actual procedure, we got 1.3 billion stem cells. The solution is then injected into the patient with a 5 cc syringe. 0.2 cc's of the stem cells is injected every one centimeter into the subcutaneous dermal layer. It is injected into the entire frontal, mid-scalp, and occipital regions. A frontal and occipital ring block is performed so the patient will not receive or experience any pain from this procedure. Once the procedure is done, the patient then has their hair washed and they change into their normal clothing and they drive themselves home. On average, it takes about two and a half hours to perform this procedure from start to finish.